Several times in the last year, CDOT has had to close part of I-70, not because of snow or rain or even because of a crash. The reason the highway was shut down in one direction was in hopes of preventing any accidents. That news reporter Noel Brennan shows us now the sunny problem along that part of the interstate. You know, when we have that situation where it snows overnight, the biggest concern is just slick roadways in the morning. Monday, our minds were on snow and ice. Just depends on, on the morning and Mother Nature. Sunday, it was all about the sun. Yesterday morning, we did have a safety closure eastbound I-70 approaching Floyd Hill uh, because of sun glare. Yes, CDOT actually closed eastbound I-70 at Floyd Hill for over an hour because of the blinding glare from the rising sun. The safety closures for sun glare don't happen extremely often, but they can happen between uh, November and basically uh, the beginning of February, end of January. On Sunday, a Colorado State Trooper made the closure call. Yesterday's closure was from about 7.15 a.m. to about 8.30 a.m. Advice for drivers is common sense. Don't leave without sunglasses. Stagger your commute time if you can. Maybe you can delay your commute until after 8.30. Don't be surprised to see a closure and just prepare for the glare. Noel Brennan, 9 News. It's up there. CDOT says they've closed I-70 at Floyd Hill for sun glare at least eight times in the past year.